Thank you guys for joining me in my next video. I have a series going on called What Can You Do? And it's basically just how can I encourage you to do something in this crazy world. So the last man's name, if you don't know him already, is Glenn Beck. He has done a lot with his money in Christianity. There's a concept that it, with money comes responsibility. And you're not just supposed to, it's not a hoarding thing. It's a, uh, God gives you money to take care of people and things. So what Glenn Beck has done is he has taken and purchased several of these um, historical documents. People have donated them to him because they don't want them going to him. In a response to the 1770 or 1771, I can't remember, project that has gone up that is basically a lie it spins everything out just it completely takes it out of context it completely takes our history and spins it to whatever the left basically wants it to be so i'm going to play this real quick Let's see if i can manage it <laughs> just let you listen to what he says and um really quick and this is just an example of what you can do uh, founding era documents from 1770, about 1770 to 1830, uh, then anybody but the Library of Congress and the National Archives, we just bought a massive collection uh, that, I mean, the Smithsonian was in the running. And, I mean, it, it's massive. Yeah. Uh, that is all of the Pilgrim history. Uh, and all of the history of Jamestown and everything. So we have the largest collection, and we intend on putting 1619 uh, in its place because that is an absolute lie. And there's something to say when you go, that's not true. Oh, well, who are you? Well, oh, just the one that has all of the documents in their own handwriting to say what happened. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to stop it there. So it is, it, it is in a, in, blah, 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 sorry. It is in response to a thing he saw happen. So what if you don't have the money? What if you can't donate? What if, what if? Then, you know, go and support the museum because basically what he's going to do is make a museum out of it. Everywhere you are in life, guys, there's something you can do. You just need to look for the opportunity. Me... I think I'm doing something with this. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But basic, but I basically just want to put this out here. There's all kinds of stuff going on out here to help protect and conserve true history. You guys need to watch this. I'll put the link down in there. It's like 48 minutes long, but it is, it's a good listen. Um, you know, I have a lot of respect for Glenn Beck because when our nation left Americans overseas, he hired guys to go over there and get them. And then when they got back here, you know, they were on the radio show talking about how he saved their life and stuff. And he has more than once done great good with the money that he has. So this is just, there's all kinds of things you can do. If you don't have a whole lot of money, you can just volunteer. You can give where you are. You can just say something at work just being able to say that's wrong hey i'm sorry that happened to you that's wrong or hey that's not the right way to to think about that or hey that's really an incomplete way to think about that that might be one thing that happened but really there's lots of other things going on and having those resources you know on your phone or something sorry <laughs> excuse me having those resources on your phone can really help so basically Basically what I'm saying is educate you, educate the people around you, and that can make a huge difference. It can make a huge change. Like I said before, go talk to people. You know, it really matters. So that's all I'm going to say today, guys. Just be encouraged and go out. Remember to pray and read your Bible, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.